when the moon shines on the cow shed and I'm rolling in the hay it's usually because I've tripped over the damn farmyard cat in the dark right here we are Farmer George's Help and Playing Tips Part 6 I'm uh, just showing you a bit of continuity here from the last video um, the uh, overloader had parked in front of the harvester on the unharvested crop stopping the harvester and that was because we had not yet passed the point where the um, overloader course started on the other side of the, the road um, beyond this the overloader should stop on this side of the field anyway this is the next day sometime after I'd, I'd uh, saved the game and uh, see the harvester had not progressed much but the thing that we have to do of course is cosplay does not remember always which courses are aware um, with the harvest it's just a matter of jumping in and pressing H to hire a worker because the only course play on that is to drive it from the bottom of the field back to the top of the field so I'll set that if it's forgotten that course I'll set that whenever I jump into it in the future at a later time during this farming day anyway so this is a little bit later in the day I think it's gone back up and across the field once or twice and um, I just thought I'd show this bit where the uh, it's all running on cosplay you don't need to worry about the harvester missing the back of the overloader which I think is a fault really because with the game um, that should leave the crop that's been harvested and put through the harvester should leave it on the on the field of course and you're wasting crops so you've got to be accurate there just for the reality of the game I'd like it to spill every once in a while like if you crash a vehicle and it falls over you don't lose your crop so they should sort that out anyway what I'm doing in this video is just showing you the overload of course and uh, we pull in here and we can see that uh, the vehicle sometimes stops in this position depending on what progression we've got when you're making this course you record the course start record where the blue marker is it will produce the first barrel and the second barrel as you drive along then you drive right round in a loop and back and make a stop point just after the first barrel let me just show you the um, the weight points that you make you stop in the uh, third quote third um, the, the, yeah, the, the third part of the trailer there's the stop sign anyway I'll show you that again in a second and, and you, you do record course stop after the first barrel this is what it looks like when you drive around it and uh, you'll see that it stops there this is being driven on the course play and it automatically empties without you having to press any buttons or be there you can be somewhere else in the farm and it will do that all day long um, let's just take a closer look at this stop point for detail you must stop in the latter third of the wagon so that's where you set a weight point okay make sure uh, the overloader pipe is over the last third and a tip is the bigger the wagon the easier it is to fill and you have less problems with cosplay when using automatic emptying and the overloader pipe placement the thing is that when if you was driving this vehicle manually you would have to press M to empty the pipe but on cosplay it actually um, empties automatically we're just jumping in this track because it's the start of the day and we have to select the course so I'll look for it in the course list of pre-recorded courses where the yellow arrow is um, the green arrow is showing you that it's driver helper that's selected um, we're going to talk about this in the next video and uh, there it is in the blue arrow showing that and also I'm showing you where I'm working in the red box next to field 2 um, so once all that's selected just press 7 or you can select drive course or whatever and if the vehicle's um, requirements are fitted fit in the truck it will go off and empty on its own like 30% full or 50% full and go off and empty see you next time